What a pleasure. I'm joined now by the president of the Brazilian Physics Society, Ricardo Galvão. Ricardo, thank you very much indeed for uh, joining us today. We very much uh, uh, appreciate that. Let's uh, kick off. Tell us a little bit. Before this meeting, there was a, a forum, wasn't there, to, uh, for, uh, for young physicists with Brazil and the US. Tell us a little bit about that forum. This was a very nice idea of uh, Amy Flatten and uh, uh, the president of uh, uh, a foundation in Brazil that supports research in the state of Sao Paulo. The idea is quite interesting because you see, when you come to the March meeting, it's quite large. And very large. Yes. 10,000 people. 10,000 people. Incredible, actually. It's the first time I come here because every time I come, I go to meetings in other areas of physics. They are much smaller here. But anyway, and then the idea is that uh, young people that come to the meeting usually try to go to presentations of more senior people, the ones that are known. And that somewhat uh, uh, does not uh, foster uh, interaction between them. So the idea was to have this APS, uh, SBF is the uh, Brazilian Physical Society uh, Forum, that uh, we, we select around uh, 25, I think, young physicists in Brazil. That means people that have uh, their PhD in the last five years, and the same in the US in the areas of the meeting. And they both presented uh, their, their, their research and also there are some general presentations by senior people. How is the situation of physics in Brazil and uh, how is the situation of a student here in, in the US. And then uh, in the exchange, I, I was, it was incredible because I was not expecting a large interaction, but they really enjoy it and uh, start talking about possible collaboration among them with all the senior people. And I think this is very good because young people are the creative people. <laughs> and talking about young people and talking about uh, young creative people, you also run an exchange program, don't you, with the uh, APS here in the US? Yes. Since uh, 2011, we have a program that uh, there is a call every year. Uh, we send uh, Brazilian professors and students to the U.S. for not a too long period. I believe it's more, uh, a month or so, and, uh, or, and vice versa from the U.S. to Brazil. So APS pays for all the uh, pays the trip of the Americans to Brazil, and we pay the trip to here. And uh, it's quite selective. Uh, in Brazil, we get uh, around uh, I don't know. Uh, I think the ratio is between 60 to 70 proposals for 15 approved. So uh, it's high level people that come. And that has been very, very uh, fruitful for uh, professors in Brazil that want their, to send their students abroad. So they first send the student for a short period, two weeks, let's say. So the student gets acquainted with the local scientific environment and knows the group and then later on he can apply for a fellowship to come here. Ricardo, thank you very much indeed for talking to Ricardo, us. We really, uh, really appreciate it.